guys, thanks for tuning in to Nizzy's Playhouse. It's your girl Nizzy and I'm back again. Um, I got another synthetic wig review for you guys. Um, so I wanted to bust it straight out the package and show you guys, you know, what's good. If you aren't doing so already, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Let me know you rocking with your girl and my YouTube journey. Um, so today's wig is Outray is provided by Outray. I also received this wig from wigtypes.com. It was about $18 and then the, you know their shipping is a little high but it's worth it. <laughs> um, so today's unit is Outray Shawnee and let me pull the stock card off for you guys. Um, it is a lace front wig and it has a Swiss lace parting space. Um, this color is in DR27613. DR um, so what that means is the root is kind of dark and then the rest is 613. That very packaged very nicely I must add. I see a couple of stray hairs on this thing. So let's talk about the construction of this bad boy. Um, so it is a ventilated cap wig. So I am able to put my fingers through it. Um, then let's see, it's got two combs, three combs, sorry. So two combs here and then one in the back, as well as your um, standard adjustable straps. And then let's see for the parting space. That's a good amount of parting space. It's like five inches. Um, so yeah, and it looks already pre-plucked, sis, so that is amazing. Um, as far as the front, let's see. Yes, yeah, so it does have hair around the perimeter, so you are able to do baby hairs all over that thing. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace on this puppy and throw this mug on. So I did cut the lace. What I'm gonna do now is take a bit of my uh, foundation and put it under that wig. Um, just because I left a little bit of lace on it and I want it to blend um, seamlessly. So I'm gonna just, you know, kind of dab it on there like that. All right, so that's done. Now let's go ahead and just throw this mug on and see what it do. So I do have two wig caps on, this black one, and then this um, tan new beige one. So let's see. Ooh, okay sis, this is definitely a cute one. Um, there is a bit of shading already, but you know, let me just run my fingers through this mug. So this is a bit of a yellow 613. Um, it's not quite, it's not bad, but it is like yellowish. Perfect for this look in this shirt though. I ain't even gonna lie though. Mix no filter press powder. This is in the color NFFP13. So let's see what that do. I probably am gonna pluck a little bit out here um, just to widen it up so it looks a little bit more natural. But other than that, like, this wig is good to go straight out of the box. Now let me let me do a 360 for y'all. <sighs> I hate that. So I would say this wig is about maybe 14 inches and maybe 12 in the back because it does kind of angle. And um, these ringlets are super cute. So, yeah, I do recommend this unit. This is super cute, super quick and easy for my beginner friendly wig bays out there. Like this wig is that shit. And I mean, that parting space goes all the way back. Like, God, wee. that is some parting space for y'all. And um, as I told you guys, I did leave a little bit of lace on the unit um, just so that it, I can like glue it down a little bit. I probably should have cut a little bit more, left a little bit more lace on there, 
but that's okay. Um, it's specifically for middle part, so I'm not quite tripping, you know. Um, I'm not even gonna show you guys this as a side part because that side part will be like super long. Not even gonna waste the time. So I do recommend this unit. Let me know if you guys try this. Let me know if you're gonna try it. Um, I know it comes in like your standards blacks and browns and colors like that, but I decided to do the 613 because I absolutely love this new wave of dark skinned girls rocking the 613. So I decided I'm gonna jump right in, Charlie. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. And as always, thanks for watching. Said I wish I was a normal girl.